right, so today's topic, um, we're going to be talking about exporting to, um, you know, uh, labeling data. So basically, um, from the ePlan environment, you can export to a multitude of different label um, machines. The one that we're going to highlight today is um, the Sembre Genius Pro. Um, great tool, a great company. Um, had a chance to, to, to meet up with these guys, great group of guys, and uh, basically really, really, really um, stoked about, um, you know, the, the the capabilities that we have um, interlacing with, uh, you know, their tools. So in a nutshell, um, very, you know, standard project that we go in here, just standard demo project. And one of the key factors that we need to understand, of course, is that there are certain features and functions that we need to do. So whether we're um, going to be laying down some cables, laying down devices, laying down some terminals, and so on and so forth. Um, and of course, eventually we're going to need um, some sort of labeling uh, feature to be able to, you know, send the seeder out to a um, labeling, uh, uh, you know, machine or anyway, regardless of the fact, we need to label our components or cables or terminals and so on and so forth. So what are the key aspects that we can do, of course, from this environment? Um, what I'm actually going to do is very quick. I'm just going to, I noticed I didn't have any wire numbers. So let me automatically generate some wire numbering um, so that I can have wire numbers uh, assigned here all over the place. So great, I got some wire numbers already labeled out, done. Um, the next process, the next step, of course, is for me to send this information out um, in a format that um, a December application can actually read in, or the Genius Pro tool, I guess, in this in this case. So um, under utilities, you have your manufacturing data. We can export labeling. Um, I do have some schemes available. One of those schemes, of course, is um, the Sembre Genius Pro uh, schemes. So if I'm, let's say, I'm going to be creating cable, device, terminal, terminal block assemblies, or wire data, I'm going to be uh, sending this information out. There is a scheme created already. And of course, here in the three dots inside the plan environment, you can see how the scheme is broken down. Um, not, not too complicated, of course, as you know. Um, all you really need to have some knowledge base on, on some of the information um, that you need to implement so that this integration can be done seamlessly. Um, of course, in this particular case here, uh, there are some fields, some properties that you can uh, manipulate and change. Um, one of the things from the base knowledge that I have, of course, um, we can also here they specify um, in the case of the wires, the, the, the wire or the product code that you will need is 503, which you'll It'll make sense when I show you what where this comes in. But basically, there's a standard format. There's a few fields that you can manipulate and change. Um, but yeah, this is something that uh, you know can be done via consulting, either with the um, Sembray team or with the ePlan team. They can configure this file out, make it look, um, or have the properties that you need. Their default files work great. So let me just show you real quick how this works out. So I'm going to generate this. Um, you'll notice that I'm generating a IDH file. So it's a, just a text file. Um, I'm just giving it an extension of an IDH. This is the format that the um, Genius Pro uh, reads it in. So that's it's not a big deal. Just you know, name the file with an extension .idh, and that'll do just fine. Um, I'm going to be sending this out. I have a little folder here I made, summary files, and that's going to be my files for all my wire labels. So I'm just going to select that, and I'm going to just hit OK. And I'm going to say, go ahead and generate this, apply to entire project. Sure, why not? I have a whole bunch of wires all over the place. Send that out. Once that file has been created, um, so very um, easily, I can actually go ahead, start up my Genius Pro tool. So here I am in a Genius Pro tool environment. Go to my jobs area under file, and I can choose here from a multitude of different um, uh, file types, of course. Um, I'm going to select here the ePlan Electric P8 file type. And I'm here in my documents. This is the file I just generated now. I'm going to hit open. And of course, it's going to bring in, as I mentioned earlier, this is this, the, 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 I guess the, 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 the configuration code, if you will, for the wire labels or the, the product code. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit next here. Um, you do have certain filter functions, but I'll show you some of the filter functions that we have um, in their tool, which are actually work just as good. Hit next, bring that in. Right, so um, using that filter functionality, so yeah, so using the uh, import, you'll notice there is some empty fields, and of course that was, it's, it's all coming in from my project. Um, possibly there were some connections that were either saddle jumper based or some you know process connections or some kind of connections that I technically did not need or did not want. 
one thing that I like here is that you can actually activate the filter function. You can turn that on. And in the fil filter criteria, usually it's found here at the bottom, I can filter out all the blank fields. So hit OK. And of course, that's just going to basically show me all the wires and uh, get this all ready to go. I can actually hit print and send this out um, to my production floor. And it, it's, pre it's pretty great. So it's, it's giving me information about the project that it came from. Um, you'll notice here under my jobs, it's actually creating a job name based out of the description of my project inside the ePlan environment. Um, so yeah, very intuitive, easy functions and, and, and you know, very easy to, to, to operate and to get this information going real quickly. So there are my wire labels and I'm good to go. All right, so um, on another note, as I mentioned uh, before, so under uh, if I want to do a multitude of different files, so I can actually go ahead and here um, select the file that I want to do. So I let, let me let me start by doing cables, apply to entire project. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and now I am going to produce um, device data. Oh, this is going to the wrong place. So let me start that over. Make sure I'm putting it in into the right path. It's going to be my documents under summary. Yeah, here it didn't come in. So let me do that again. Um, apply to entire project. There we go. Um, again here to the labeling format. I'm going to do devices. Um, make sure I send this out to the right spot, <clears throat> which is going to be here. And apply to entire project. And I'm going to go here again and generate. I'm not going to do them all, but just to give you a brief idea, I can do a multitude of them. Um, make sure I send this to the right path. Directories kind of here we go. Send that there, good to go. Apply to entire project, there we go. So I, I've created a multitude of different files. Um, this project's pretty big. I mean, I do have a lot of components, so it's it's not like a small project where you get just a few things that are gonna come in. Um, and of course, I need a lot of uh, labeling uh, for all the different aspects of my project. So um, by doing that, generating those files, I'll be able to send that information out and uh, have it done inside the, the labeling tool here in the Genius Pro environment. So from here, what I can do again, I'm going to go job, I'm going to import from filter. And what I really, really, really appreciate is the fact that I can actually do them all. I can actually highlight them all, hit open. He's going to read them all and I'm going to hit next and they're all going to come in. So I'm good to go. I got all my cable labels um, here. If I look down, I got uh, my terminal or sorry, these are my devices. So all my, uh, my device data that might be needed to, I can, uh, you know, these little tabs, I'm going to be able to stick them onto my devices inside the panel uh, or on my devices that are going to go in the panel. And of course, you know, some uh, terminal data, uh, of course, that I can start to populate and associate um, and bring those in. So, yeah, so, so very straightforward functionality, very, uh, you know, easy function. That's what we all like. We like things to be easy and, and, and not too cumbersome and co or complicated. And uh, this has been a brief overview of some of the functionality that we have with this um, um, application with the Genius Pro from Sembre. And uh, hopefully this, uh, you know, helps you guys out in your everyday work. Thank you very much.